Hello again everyone, it's Jan Monahan for Wrapping with Jan and this is tag two in the 12 tags of Christmas and this is a fairly straightforward tag. Um, we're going to need and I will give you the, uh, this is from Etsy, this is a very wide washi tape as you can see, I think it's about, um, probably about three and a half inches wide. Um, and I will tell you the, the vendor. I'll let you know what the vendor, who the vendor is. You'll need some gold baker's twine. You'll need just about any kind of coordinating washi tape. I have some bells some tags, and this is the finished product right here. Now the tags I'm using here are just from Office Depot and they are three inches long by one and five eighths inches wide. However, you can use any size you want. You can use any washi tape you want. You don't have to put bells on it. You don't have to put string on it. Just remember, this is your project and I'm just keep trying to give you some ideas. You don't have to do exactly what I do. Just use what you've got. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra wide washi tape and yes, they do sell it. Um, like I said before, this one came, came off of Etsy. Etsy still has um, quite a few different um, wide washi tape. And the secret with washi tape this wide is getting it on what you want it on without it wrinkling. Um, And I usually use a bone folder to make sure it sticks. And then I'll cut this off on the back side. And I'm using fairly sharp scissors here. Um, the duller the scissors, the more you're going to get what I call chew marks. Um, it just makes, and if you don't want chew marks, then you, you've got to get uh, really sharp scissors. I just don't think it looks very, very professional or very polished. Okay, there we go. And then, I believe this tube of washi tape came from Hobby Lobby. I've purchased so much in the last, uh, last few years, I'm not quite sure where I got this stuff. Uh, but you can use anything. Like I said, this is your project, not mine. All right. And, uh, let's see if I can get this started. And do your best to make it straight. And I apologize if you can hear my husband down there. He's watching football and um, his team is winning. Oh, and we're up here having fun. And that's the red. And this stuff, I'm not so sure I want to use this. This is not cooperating as some, well, I suppose we can. I'm going to measure this out. 
and for some reason this particular washi tape doesn't stick. I don't know whether the adhesive, wait a minute, is it? No, it still doesn't. Okay, so this is kind of a dud, but things happen. So I'm going to put this on here, put a little bit of Nuvo Drops right along this way. Put it nice and close, right into place. Once again, use your bone folder. Okay, now normally I would let that dry a little bit, but I uh, figure as long as we're working, we might as well keep working. Okay, this washi tape is fairly thin, so I'm going to... Maybe I'm not. There we go. Got it. And this, <laughs> this poor hole punch was my mother's. So, I mean, you can tell how old it is. Um, we put a hole in there. And what I did is I made... A double string for the tag since this is this isn't very this is not very strong and you want it to stay on the package or on the tree depending on what you put it on but you want it to stay um, so just make sure whatever whatever ribbon you use or string that it is going to hold and here we go okay and that's pretty even all right then I take another two pieces of string And I have to have, since my fingers are fat, I have to have quite a bit of string to make a bow like this. But this is the one that always works for me. And of course, now it won't. Now it's going to make a liar out of me. Nope, I guess it did. Okay. All right. Tighten it. Bring these around. Trim them off. Okay, once again, new bow drops. And that will go. Now, if you want these tags to go quicker and you don't want to have to worry about them to take time to dry, the best thing to do would be to use a hot glue gun. And as I always say, if you're working with kids, just be careful because those guns can burn. And then put two...
And if you're not into bells and you're into, you know, little holly or even pine cones, you could, um, there's little bitty ones from Canadian Hawthorne. They've got very teeny, very cute little pine cones. You could put those on there. Um, you could do just about anything. Um, but anyway, this is tag number two. And I'll be back in a few days with tag number three. Thanks for watching. This is Jan Monahan for Wrapping with Jan.